De Blasio urges Nick to go about your lives normally, despite possible coronavirus case, as New York awaited test results on a quarantined Bellevue Hospital patient, who's the first possible case in the city of the deadly coronavirus, officials reassured the public Saturday that there is no reason to panic. If test results on the patient expected as soon as Monday show he or she is infected, the city is prepared to meet the crisis, officials said. If this is a positive case, we will confirm that publicly right away Mayor Bill de Blasio said Saturday night at a news conference at the hospital. And robust measures will be continued to ensure the virus has not and does not spread, said City Health Commissioner Oxaris Barbot. The quarantine patient, whose identity is being kept private by officials, is described as a person under the age 40 who arrived in the city from mainland China on Thursday. The patient was checked into the hospital Friday night after falling ill with a fever, cough and shortness of breath, telltale signs of the illness, and tested negative for the flu and cold. He or she remains in stable condition. De Blasio said the patient was traveling alone and wasn't sharing a living space with anyone else. So the likelihood of their having infected others is low. There was no one apparently, at least based on what we know now, who would have been in that kind of close proximity the mayor said. Barbet said the virus is only spread through droplets, such as from a cough or sneeze. Right now, we feel confident that the most likely way to be infected by the coronavirus is by having extended contact with household contacts and family members that may live together, she said. The mayor said he was also pushing to get permission for the city to conduct its own coronavirus testing. Currently, only the CDC has that capability, and test samples must be sent to the centers for testing. There is still a lot that we do not know, de Blasio said. What we do know causes us a tremendous amount of concern. We will use all measures at our disposal to protect New Yorkers. De Blasio said that since the virus could only be passed via substantial contact with someone who is infected, New Yorkers should go about our lives normally. Just be smart, the mayor said. Do the basics, like wash your hands. He stressed, though, that if someone is displaying symptoms and has travel connections to affected parts of China, they should see a medical professional immediately. This the twelfth possible case in New York State. Tests have come back negative for eight of those cases, and three are still pending, Governor Andrew Cuomo's office said Saturday. The possible New York City case comes after the eight U.S. case was identified in Massachusetts late Friday. Eritrea expresses dismay at new U.S. visa restrictions, the East African nation of Eritrea on Sunday expressed dismay at this unfriendly act, after the Trump administration included it in the latest six countries to face U.S. visa restrictions. Eritrea's information ministry asserted the U.S. decision was made without justification to send a negative signal and runs counter to U.S. policy of constructive engagement. The Trump administration on Friday announced various visa restrictions on immigrants from Kyrgyzstan, Myanmar, Nigeria, Sudan and Tanzania as well. It is not a total travel ban, unlike President Donald Trump's earlier effort that generated outrage around the world for targeting Muslims. Some in Nigeria, Africa's most populous nation, have expressed outrage, while the government issued a brief statement saying it would study the U.S. requirements. The restrictions go into effect February 21, as Trump tries to promote his crackdown on immigration, ahead of the U.S. presidential election in November. Eritrea, one of the world's most closed-off nations, is a significant source of migrants headed to Europe and elsewhere, as thousands flee what they and human rights groups call a harsh system of forced national service. There has been no sign of that system easing since Eritrea made peace with neighboring Ethiopia in 2018, removing the major reason for the system's existence. The new Eritrea statement again criticized what it called automatic asylum measures by some countries for people who flee. Eritrea, Nigeria, Kyrgyzstan and Myanmar will have all immigrant visas suspended, those are applicants seeking to live in the U.S. permanently. They include visas for people sponsored by family members or employers, as well as the diversity visa program that made up to 55,000 U.S. visas available in the most recent lottery. Not affected are non-immigrant visas awarded to those traveling to the U.S. for a temporary stay. They include visas for tourists, those doing business or people seeking medical treatment. Acting Homeland Security Secretary Chad Wolf has said officials would work with the countries on bolstering their security requirements to help them work to get off the list. He said officials examined countries for compliance with minimum standards for identification and information sharing and assessed whether countries properly track terrorism or public safety risks. Lady Gaga. I better hear no lip-sensing at halftime show Miami, AP, descending from the air, 
Lady Gaga kicked off a pre-Super Bowl concert by mimicking her entrance to her Super Bowl halftime performance three years ago, which earned her raved reviews. Headlining the big sports stage was a recurring theme of her Miami concert Saturday night, and the pop star sent a message to Sunday's featured performers. I better hear no lip syncing tomorrow. Jennifer Lopez and Shakira will join forces to perform at Super Bowl 54 at the Hard Rock Stadium when the San Francisco 49ers will take on the Kansas City Chiefs. Gaga has denounced lip syncing since the beginning of her career, which kicked off in 2008 with her multi-platinum album, The Fame. Moments after delivering the sharp comment as she sat by the piano, she told the audience, I love you Miami. I love you J-Lo. I love you Shakira. Gaga performed at the AT&T TV Super Saturday Night Show at Meridian at Island Gardens. Toward the end of her show which closed with an epic performance of her Oscar and Grammy-winning Smash Shallow, she said she hoped Lopez and Shakira shine on stage. I wish so much love and so much luck to everyone that's doing the halftime show, to both the teams that are playing each other in the Super Bowl," she said. They're all champions. Teary-eyed, she thanked the audience for their support and for allowing her to perform at the halftime show in 2017. Thank you so much for believing in me. I remember when I played the halftime show and it was one of the most special, beautiful things that's ever happened to me. So, thank you said Gaga, who also wowed audiences at the 2016 Super Bowl when she sang the national anthem. And once again, all my love to everyone that's performing and playing tomorrow. I hope they all feel as lucky as I do right now. Gaga performed a two-hour set Saturday, changing three times during the performance, which she kicked off in a glittery bodysuit and flowy, blue hair. She ran through a number of hit songs, including Just Dance Poker Face, Born This Way, Bad Romance and Telephone. Feverish fans cheered loudly at the standing-only concert, and one of them even threw a letter on stage, which Gaga read out loud. In 2014 I fought for my life due to mental illness that stemmed from my own insecurities and life experiences. Without your radiant positivity and encouragement, I don't know if I would have had the strength to continue to fight to recover my life," back Gaga read from the letter. She invited the fan on stage and hugged her tightly. Gaga said AT&T TV will donate $1 for every tweet using number Super Saturday Night to her Born This Way Foundation, which supports mental and emotional wellness. We put mental health first aid into schools around the country, and we're going to continue to do that until we get it in every school. It's a goal of mine," she said. Gaga, who has openly talked about her struggles with post-traumatic stress disorder, went on to perform Million Reasons saying, I wrote this song because I was going through a rough time, and when life gave me a million reasons to want to give up, I just needed one good one to stick around. And I was lucky enough at the Super Bowl a couple years ago to sing this song, and I'll never forget it I was singing it, and I looked out in the audience, and I swear to God I saw my parents she continued. When I said, hey mom and dad at the Super Bowl, that wasn't planned. I really saw them. I saw them among a sea of people, and it was because I could feel their hearts, because if it wasn't for my family I'd be nowhere. I love you, mom and dad. I love you, Natalie, my sister. Pompeo, in Kazakhstan, warns of China's growing reach, U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo on Sunday pressed Kazakhstan to be wary of Chinese investment and influence, urging the Central Asian nation and others to join calls demanding an end to China's repression of minorities. Bringing a message similar to the one he has delivered repeatedly to other countries, Pompeo told senior Kazakh officials that the attractiveness of Chinese investment comes with a cost to sovereignty and may hurt, instead of help, the country's long-term development. We fully support Kazakhstan's freedom to choose to do business with whichever country it wants, but I am confident that countries get the best outcomes when they partner with American companies," he said. You get fair deals. You get job creation. You get transparency in contracts. You get companies that care about the environment and you get an unsurpassed commitment to quality work. Pompeo began his brief visit to the country by meeting with ethnic Kazakhs, whose families have gone missing or been detained in China's widespread crackdown on Muslims and other ethnic and religious minorities in its western Xinjiang region. The protection of basic human rights defines the soul of a nation, he said, thanking Kazakhstan for taking in those fleeing persecution. The United States urges all countries to join us in pressing for immediate end to this repression. We ask simply for them to provide safe refuge and asylum for those seeking to flee China. To protect dignity, just do what's right. Pompeo also congratulated Kazakhstan on its repatriation of Islamic State fighters from Iraq and Syria. Kazakhstan has taken back nearly 600 fighters and family members detained in areas formerly controlled by the group. 
I have and will continue to commend the Kazakhstani government for its leadership in repatriating foreign terrorists fighters and their families from Iraq and Syria, he said. I hope this commitment to justice 